Hi, this is Lola. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I'm in my kids' room. Um, I tried to make this video earlier, but I come all over the place. I think I had too much coffee. Um, first, unboxing up here of, or maybe up here, of the um, new to me uh, the right weeks cover from you may have you may remember it from my life mitts um she posted that she wanted to sell it and i really was jonesing for something a little bit different um as you might know i just got a the right pocket and i'm realizing it's not working for me and i'm really bummed out it's because it's a little too big for the pocket size <sighs> call me weird so like the weeks that it has some room here, here, and here, I like that. The A6, my Illustrator Hobonichi, has tons of room in the side on, in my uh, Shik Sparrow. But my pocket needs to be exactly like this. So I found myself not reaching out for it. I went back into my Americano. I really, um, I'm, I got to put them for sale, but I am going to sell back the Lorite uh, pocket that I just got, which is... A beauty the leather is so squishy and everything if anyone is into putting tabs that's the perfect cover for you for pocket or if you like having many pants like I do with my a6 for some reason my pocket I really love this so I transfer this was um, wind summer art or summer wind art I don't know what I have like a weird dyslexic thing with this so I'll put it there um, that was in my creme brulee a5 I put it on my Americano pocket deluxe and this is a new to me twisty echo which I am so in love with I I should say thank you Alicia at Adventure de Nelly but part of me is like <laughs> so sh I started as you know I believe this was my first Kaweko. Oh, yeah, I'm really good with this. And then I got two, three. I have a fourth, um, like the white coconut. I think it's called coconut. It's like a transparent white um, in my wallet, which is extra fine. They're mostly extra fine. I think I have a fine. And one of my extra fine, this one, is literally a medium. I'm going to do a little pen test. Um, I'm, I'll put it some more.
that Alicia at Adventure Denali had sent me and I just ordered some from Goulet Pen, which was my first order from Goulet Pen. I'm really excited about that. My weeks, so here it is. Um, I put this from Hobonichi. I've had this for years. I bought it like when I first started with Hobonichi, I bought a lot of like the accessories and you kind of get over it and you calm down which I still, another thing, so I'll, if you're keeping track, oops, that's my brass one, which I love, my really scratchy, extra fine nib, I love this one too. Um, if you're keeping track, I will be selling my Hobonichi Cousin Evec that I have for next year, my Creme Brulee Pocket Deluxe, and now my Pocket I guess it still actually has pocket, but that's not how you call it from the right. I am waiting for another the right lacquer cover in A6. It's a mountain cover. I've always seen them. I ordered it a while back. Um, and now I'll have this one too, which I absolutely love. Um, for me, a little more space with the Hobonichi Weeks again works. I do have some tabs here and I do have like, um, like a bookmark kind of thing. It's not excessive, but this, this I like this feel. Um, also because I've been mostly just writing my to-dos and drawing, like I don't have anything, I haven't been putting, I mean, sometimes I put a sticker here and there, but I can't even remember the last time I did it. Put a sticker. Now this is, I put like, a, quite the ones you scratch, I can't remember. We call it um, decalcomanie in French. Oh yeah, I have some tape here that I put after the fact. So sometimes I'll just grab something. But for the most part, I mean, except for a tape here and there, I don't, I don't, I don't put a lot of things in there. Um, it's one of those I really love the weeks. I find it's really cool to see. Um, it feels a little bit redundant because I also have my Illustrated A6 Hobonichi, but I'm not willing to let go of it. And it does work because now in the monthly I have my school stuff and also kind of my what's gonna happen next. And I have it also in the weeks, every week so I open and I know what I need to do. Sometimes I put more of a list. It's weird because like, I love lists, right? I think a lot of us do here. Um, so I love um, the idea of having everything that I need to do throughout the day written down. Um, I don't always do that. Sometimes when I journal in my private journal, I do do that. I'm like, today I need to do this and do that. And it helps me keep focused because especially right now I have my kids stuff to take care of. I have, for example, today I have a shoot, um, a family that I shoot every year. I do their Christmas cards. This year we're meeting in Malibu. So that's gonna be super fun. They used to be parents of a friend of my son, so they haven't seen each other in a long time. And she was like, why don't you br bring them along? So they're coming with me, but they're going to have to be good when I shoot the family. So it's it's fun. Um, shoot meaning photography, by the way. That sounds so bad. Otherwise, I hate <laughs> that. But like, I had a pool shoot last week, which was really fun. I haven't had time to edit. Um, I'll have to edit, of course, the family pictures right away, but the pool shoot probably will have to wait until uh, Thanksgiving break or maybe even the big break. So I, I didn't take any classes for the winter because my kids have no school and I wanted to kind of focus on them. Um, and that way I can catch up also. I'll be able to catch up on my Hobonichi 6. I usually do that during Christmas. It's kind of like settle down. Now, if for any reason I end up doing horribly in one of the two classes that I really, really need, then I'll probably take a class, but I doubt that's going to happen. So far, so good. <laughs> I'm so far I'm between A's and B's, which is good. But yeah, so I have this. I got, um, what is this? A Zebra Delgard pe uh, mechanical pencil. This, uh, my life mid send me in with this and it's a Marvi Uchida for drawing and I already tried it in here and it's awesome. And then my brass Kaweco. I am so waiting for a Goulet pen order, which are sample inks. I am waiting for an A6 cover <laughs> from the right. So I think I got, um, sorry, my son was screaming mama <laughs> in the background. Um, I am waiting so for the Goulet pen uh, ink samples because I feel like 
I need to know a little more before I commit. I do have a D Atramentis waterproof black one, which I put with the syringe in my palette Kukuno so that it's fine line, so extra fine actually, so I can draw, but I haven't done most of it. I'm really used to um, pan, like, you know, archival pen, what do you call them? Like the Pygmy Micron, and now I have this one, the Marvi Uchida. I had ordered some from JetPen, like a pack of them, and most of them were too much for the Tomo River paper. So my son inherited a bunch of them and he loves them because he draws all the time. So that's great. And he draws directly with the pen. Um, and I had ordered months ago a superior labor pen roll. Um, and I think it's set to be delivered by the end of November or December. Have I been overspending? Yes. Have I been coping with maybe being stuck at home and stressed that way? Yes. Um, is it a healthy coping mechanism? Yes and no. I use most of the stuff I have and when I don't, I resell it. So that said, that's all, you know, it is what it is. And I know the covers, a lot of it, they bring me so much joy. Like I am so happy I got this. I love the color. I love um, the patina is already on it. You know, I just, I just love it. So this I'm really happy about. I'm really happy to have gotten this Twisby Echo has brought so much joy to my life that I'm, I am waiting for a mini one. And then I'm done. Then I'm off fountain pen and I should be off covers because I do feel like I have a system. I've been toying with the idea of selling my creme brulee um, A5, but it is such a beautiful piece of leather and I have gone back and forth to the A5 size, so I am going to keep it because it is my only A5. But otherwise my collection is getting actually slimmer. I know it sounds weird because it looks like I'm buying and buying and buying, but I am reselling. As soon as I realize they don't bring me as much joy as my favorite ones or they don't start, you know, then I resell them. And the way I see it is I rehome them, which my life admits put that in her the little crutch sense. It's like thanks for giving it a second home. It's you know, like I say, I think every cover has a personality and sometimes you just bam, like my A5 creme brulee was love at first sight. My pocket deluxe creme brulee, it was not. And it's just not I've tried and now now I don't try as hard. I have enough, so if I fall off the wagon and buy a new cover <laughs> then it has to be wow when i get it which this one definitely was i love it i kind of wanted to put the pen in there in fact i tried and i did a little scratch already um but i don't like it so i think this is going to be more for like maybe some stickers here and there paperwork or whatever again once life resumes outside of our apartment um plus it started getting cold here so like today we're going to the beach but it's going to be big jackets and stuff well we're a little bit over the top because we're so used to like for me cold is like 50s now which is funny coming from paris right but i never liked the cold so nothing new there <laughs> um so i have rambled like for like 15 minutes i'm sure and i just miss doing videos it's been a while it's hard to find time here and there to do it so um, happy Veterans Day to everyone and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.